So, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's already dark out. I just got out of my two hour meeting with um, the production team that I was working with. Can't expose who they are yet, but we just heard some really awesome news. Um, looks like our show is gonna get picked up, hopefully, very soon. So we're moving on to the next stages, which is negotiations. Really, really excited. Uh, we've been working on this for a while, so I'm glad to see there's some traction. But now, it's dinner time. We're going to Soho to a new friend of mine, his loft. This gorgeous Soho loft, and we're going to have some dinner cooked by a Michelin star chef. So let's do it. Let's go. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're the photographer. Okay. Esther, nice to meet you. Okay, it's time for me to get right away. Okay, Esther, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Ben. Hi, Ben. Hey, Chef. How are you? Nice to meet you. Chef Malcolm? Yes. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Ben. Nice to meet you. I'm Ben. Hope you guys don't mind some, like, footage and extra. I think it'll be fun. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Watch what I did. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you know what? I was just telling Ben, like... And I just thought, oh, you should come back and just relax. I was just telling Ben, like, it's not every day that I invite it. You're the host of Soho. Yeah, I was just telling Ben, like, it's not every day that I invite it. We were thinking about different people, and David's like, oh, like, Esther. And I was like, oh, my God, that's perfect. Yeah. You know, you're like, you're all bundled up. Like, oh, I see your Instagram, and you're here again. I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna like put my hair down today. Yeah, so. Yes, awesome. Can I go for her? This is the most beautiful thing ever. Not even a beautiful night. Yeah, but I haven't seen her. Yeah. How's, how's your day? Busy, man. Oh, Busy yeah. filming all day. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Time is now. Nine o'clock, right? Nine, yeah. We keep on going. We keep on going. <laughs> I wish you guys could taste it. Cricket power. Cricket power. It's not the first time I had cricket. I've had cricket multiple times. The first time I had it, I was, I think I was like 20 years old. It was in, it was like fried inside a taco. Like I still remember that. And then multiple times after that, I've had cricket. My friend Joseph Yoon is he runs Brooklyn Bugs, so I've practically tasted every edible insect out there, including water bugs. Yeah, don't ever try that. Gross. I mean, that's like a that's a term for a glorified cockroach, basically. And I eat it. I eat a cockroach. Don't tell anybody that. 
Yeah, like the world knows now. Yeah, but um, I have like a weird thing with in, insect. I think it's like like love and hate. I love the idea of sustainability and like what it, what it's good for an environment and like the amount of protein and I love the idea of it. It's just that I guess I you still have to get over the fact that they are insects, right? And if you like get creeped out by that, then you know I understand, but. Taste-wise, it's actually like very tasty. And if you cook it, especially like in this form, you could never really even tell. Yeah, I, I can not right? It was completely masked. Completely masked, but like the amount of protein that you're intaking is like unbelievable, right? So like you can't, it depends on how you want to, you know, think about it. Yeah. So Total uh, cutting edge. I love, I love it. I love it. So we gotta try the um, the dessert, the tarts. Do you want one? We here. We're at Miss You, my third restaurant. We're here to finish up the night. It's been a freaking long day. But this is how it is. This is how it is. Day in a life. And of day, Esther Choi. Yes, day in the life of Esther Choi. That's like one of the questions that we both ask, ask each other. Oh, Eddie's first question to me usually when, is, when she wakes up is, what's your sketch? What's your sketch? What's your sketch? And I'm like, oh my God, who is this loud person in my ear? So you guys don't talk about this like before you go to bed? Like, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? No, How's not, the not really. We try not to talk about work at night. I think when we, when we come home from work. Yeah, so when you wake up, it's going to be a surprise if you have I a so. crazy schedule. Yeah, or if it's something like crazy that's happening, like obviously we'll know we'll know about it. But normally it's like Eddie screaming in my ear, "What's your sketch today?" Experience. Eddie's always very serious in the morning like this. Yeah. This, this, Every this morning is, is the... Eddie wakes up with like a some kind of business question, and I'm like, I just woke up literally. This is that. <laughs> that's like, what you're that's awesome. At. I'm like brain dead at this. No, time. that's what I mean. I am too usually. I'm, not and even I'm, I'm like, I literally wake up and Eddie's like. So, like, what do you think about this and this and this and this and this? And I'm like, I literally just opened my eyes. Yeah. 